Government announced it will jump to Bharat Stage 6 emission standards directly from current PS4 levels by 2020. But what are these Bharat Stage emission standards? How do they work? What impact will it have on the consumers and automakers? Our correspondent Venkat Raman reports. We are preponing the by three years the migration to Euro 6 or Bharat 6 standard. Vehicles will be compliant to that standard. So that will really reduce the pollution. These were the words of Union Environment Minister Prakash Javdekar in an exclusive conversation with DD News a few weeks ago. And now the announcement comes officially. In a move to curb vehicular pollution, the government announced it would prepone the implementation of Bharat Stage 6 emission standards by one year to April 2020. In the process, it decided to skip the BS5 emission standards. <laughs> BS6 पे जाएंगे हैं और आपको पता होगा कि इसके लिए हमने पहले जो निर्णय किया था वो 2021 तक ये BS6 को हम लागू करेंगे ऐसा हमने निर्णय किया था पर आज हमने ये निर्णय किया है कि अब BS6 फ्यूल अक्रॉस द कंट्री ये 1 4 2020 तक हम लागू करेंगे but what are these Bharat stage emission standards that become so important amidst the global confrontation of climate change and pollution? Every country has got emission standards for their vehicles based on US or Euro regulations. Similarly, India too has its own emission standards called Bharat stage on the lines of Euro stage. So far, India has been following Bharat stage 4 emission standards. Emission standards are basically constituted to regulate the output of air pollutants from internal combustion engine equipment, including motor vehicles. The first emission norms were introduced in India in the year 1991 for petrol and 1992 for diesel vehicles. And in April 1999, Supreme Court of India ruled that all vehicles in India have to meet Euro 1 or India 2000 norms. And in a latest development, India announced it would implement BS6 from April 2020. In the new emission standards, the particulate matter PM emission for diesel cars would be 80% less than BS4 and the nitrogen oxide levels would be 83% lower. The sulphur content in fuel norms for diesel and petrol under both 5 and 6 standards would not change at 10 parts per million, though it is substantially less than the 15 mandated for both fuels under BS4. Going from BS4 to BS6, so it's going to take number one around uh, five to six years time. Normally, uh, to upgrade in one uh, standard, it takes on four years of time. Also, uh, there's a lot of investment in terms of uh, investing in the technology. It is expected that uh, there'll be auto companies will have to spend around 60 to 70,000 crores in upgradation of the technology due to this. I'm expecting that uh, there will be uh, increment per unit in SUV and all it should be somewhere more than 50,000 or so. I'm sure about it. And mid-size cars, it will be around 20 to 30,000. That's what is expected. With the announcement by the government to leap forward to BS6 emission standards from BS4 by 2020, it has proved that it is standing on its word to curb the emission levels. Experts also opine that it is good for atmosphere. However, the prices of automobiles might go high. With camera person Yogesh Kumar, this is Venkat Raman reporting for DD News from New Delhi.